Hi guys! In this video, you can see the top 10 places to visit in Niger. So before we get started, make sure to hit the like the button and also subscribe to our channel. Before we extol its beauties, let's get the gritty side of Niger out of the way. Beset by military juntas and tribal uprisings and other terrorist groups now marauding through the states of Central Africa, Niger has never been and still isn't the safest of places to explore. Travelers under its spell should bide their time. Check FCO warnings and wait. With luck, one day, this great cutout of the Sahel and Sahara will once more open its doors and borders. Until then, we can only pine. So pine we shall. Pine for the undulating dunes and the shifting sea of sands that is the Tenari Desert. Pine for the mud-brick mosque of towns like Agadz. 1. Zinder. A maze of tight-knit lanes and hidden streets weaves and winds to form the hard-to-navigate heart of Zinder. Meanwhile, the Sultan's palace towers over the town with its great adobe architectural achievements. And that's not even mentioning the bustling bazaar, which stretches as far as the eye can see. It's easy to believe it was once one of the busiest camel caravan stops on the Trans-Saharan route. Yep, Zinder comes stop for many reasons. Its rich history of French rule, tribal culture and trading, its mercantile energy, its sheer, raw African beauty. 2. Naimi More than 1.3 million people live, work and play in the capital city of Naimi, making it the veritable human heart of Niger. The city straddles the courses of the Niger River in the southwest and bustles with fantastic open-air markets and a surprisingly heady nightlife scene after dark. Check out the beer joints around Yantala and Sien, and remember the strict drinking laws as you do. International eateries touting pizzas and pastas mix with the spicy creations of the African kitchen too, while the bulbous blue domes of the Grand Mosque are simply not to be missed. 3. Agadez Boasting nearly 1,000 years of history and steeped in tales of Sahelian camel caravans, the Ottomans, believe it or not, and the old Songhai imperialists enthralling Agadz certainly has a story to tell. The town is found smack bang in the heart of the country as a whole, surrounded by the sun-scorched dunes of the Sahara Desert and the endless yellow of the Sand Sea. It's formed from a grid of narrow streets and adobe, mud-brick homes. The centerpiece has to be the earthen minaret of the central mosque, which mimics the great landmarks of the desert towns of Mali to the west. 4. W National Park Unquestionably the most famous national park in all of Niger, the Dadaudi National Park has also attained that coveted UNESCO World Heritage Site tag, which it was awarded on account of its unique display of transition habitats between the savanna and the West African woods. Just one fragment of the huge Yellow Transborder Park that crosses into Burkina Faso and Benin, it's made up primarily of dusty bushland. And the animals? Well, suffice to say, you should get the camera ready for a medley of baboons, an African buffalo, giraffes, leopards, lions, and more. 5. Aru. After just three hours on the rumbling dust roads from the capital, you can find yourself alighting in the charming river town of Aru, one of the top draws of southwestern Niger. Known for the surrounding riparian habitats that encompass the settlement, Aru itself sits on its very own island where the mosque and marketplaces both make their home too. In fact, the bazaar is a great place to start your travels here, searching through the curious folk remedies and sampling simple Sahel street food, all before breaking out to see the hippos splashing and lazing in the muddy waters nearby. 6. Ababa National Park Established back in 1987 for the sole purpose of protecting the endangered animals that make this territory their home, the Ababa National Park has remained firmly off the radar for nature-loving travelers making their way through this land on the joint of the Sahel and Sahara. That doesn't mean it's not worth the trip, though. There are forests of low-lying acacia trees and semi-savanna plains aplenty, all crisscrossed by herds of bucks and elephants. The territory is also important on the conservation front as one of the last remaining habitats of the uber-rare black rhino. Seven. Nguigmi, the gateway to the aforementioned Ababa National Park and the easternmost settlement in the whole of Niger. The town of Nguigmi butts up the banks of cross-border Lake Chad with its humble airstrip and pretty city mosque. 
The whole place oozes the character you'd expect of a far-flung desert town, with camel caravans coming and going every day of the year. The small settlement is also home to the tribal groups of the Kanuri people, the Daza, and the Wodafuleni, many of whom are some of the few remaining examples of Niger's fascinating pastoral communities. 8. Marathi For most travelers, Marathi, the third largest city in the whole country, will be just an administrative stop to switch transports or stock up before heading out to the historic richness of Zinder or to the Nigerian border to the south. However, those who linger will discover a town that hardly feels like any other urban destination in the nation, a place of relative economic prosperity and buzzing markets, oozing confidence and panache. Head down to the Grand Marche to haggle your way through shamanic jewelry and magic charms like lizard tails and the like. There's also the awesome palatial home of the tribal leader, the Marathi Palace, rising in grand styles on one of the central squares. 9. Tahoa Traditionally the place where the Tuareg tribes of the northern desert lands fuse with the Fulani folk of the southern reaches of the country. The town of Tahoa is where two of the major cultural identities in Niger can be seen mingling, mixing, and, most importantly of all, trading their wares. The market here really does take center stage, so be sure to head down and see its buzzing stalls and the endless wealth of carved totems and witch doctor's trinkets there. The place is also known as one of the country's phosphate mining hubs, so don't be surprised if there's a clutch of unattractive industry too. 10. Timia Bulbous pink pomegranates, blood red and orange citrus fruits, and bountiful clusters of watermelons are might not what you'd expect to see this deep in the heart of the Sahara Desert but the far-flung town of Timia tells a different story. Fed by an oasis for the entire year, the little clusters of low-rise cottages is surrounded by verdant fields of orchards and agricultural ground. They stretch along the length of the valleys that carve through the heart of the air mountains, popping up here and there in a bloom of date palms or a crash of green grasses. Travel to Timia is intrepid and promises fulfilling encounters with the desert nomads and villagers of the region. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.